Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back on some Bloodborne, and I am reliving the dream. Alrighty, well, in the last episode, I beat the blood stained beast, or is it starved? I don't remember. I'm sorry, I might be saying that wrong, but I beat that boss, and now I'm at Cathedral's Ward, and I was gonna run through this area and open up all the gates because. I don't know, man. I guess I'm just super wrong. I've been talking about this, and I've been wrong, because guess what? The Snatcher is already here, so I can just let this thing kill me, and basically I would be good. Okay, um, I'm just gonna do that now, I guess, because I could technically run through... Oh, God! I could run through and actually do that whole area over there, and then do this, but, eh, uh, you know... The thing is, I'm gonna lose, I'm probably gonna lose all my insight and my echoes, but I don't have much anyway. Alright, whatever. Come on! Murder me! Get, do I have to get killed by the Snatcher, right? There we go. That works. Alrighty, so this is the Unseen Village. Okay, that's right. I was trying to remember, like, what this place was, but... I always say go to prison just because you go to literally a prison, but I don't know. If I remember right, this area is pretty overpowered. Like, the enemies are actually fairly strong. Um, so, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to fight some of them. I'm not fighting those pigs. That's the one enemy that I know for sure I am not fighting. Oh, yeah, there's like a woman here, right? I can even send her to... Here she is. I could send her to the church. I think. Come on, talk to me, lady. Come on. Gotta go to the church. Oh, God. Okay, there's there's a way to do it. I just don't know. You know, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I know a lot of the NPCs, actually. Several of them, you could send to the church and stuff, but I think you always generally have to do something. It's not just as simple as just go talk to them. You have to do other stuff, and then you can actually get them to go to the church now, one of the big things about this area that's good, and the reason why you do want to come here early if you can, is you can get some more upgrade materials, but you can get the second level of it. You can get the twin ones, and those are going to allow me to get my weapon even higher. Okay, so when you die, you don't lose your insight. I'm a dummy. <laughs> I literally, I'm wrong again, man. I literally said, you know, if I die, I'm going to lose my insight. I don't care if I lose 2,000 echoes, whatever. Alright, so, I need to explore this area. I need to grab most of the items if possible. The Snatchers in general, I really don't want to fight them either. So, I, I don't want to fight those pigs and I don't want to fight those Snatchers. Like, not yet. Later, oh god. Dude, that shit's so scary. Yo, okay, these things too are pretty annoying, but I'm gonna try. Okay, yeah, they grab it. Ah, 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 what? Oh my god, it's so brutal, bro. Yeah, I cut my nose off. Yeah. Ugh. Oh my. I'm dead? I'm not dead. I'm dead! That fucking one shot at me! Okay. It looks like I am definitely running through this area just because coming here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hey! That's right. Come here. Come here. Oh my god! No! God, I suck! Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on stamina come back so i can murder this thing nice see what i'm talking about that's three right there and i know there's another one at least one more of those things somewhere yo that thing is so creepy i'm sorry like, it really is all right um give me all the stuff i'm actually yeah i almost ran out of blood vials oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> i'm fucking terrified leave me alone all right hold up hold up Yo, yo, oh god, that's the way to the boss. Okay, I remember that. That's where the boss is, and yeah. I'm... <laughs> I don't know about that boss, guys. Like, I think I might uh, wait on that. You know, I know I can always come back here. Like, there's a point in the game where you can't no longer fight that boss. It's not gonna happen. Okay, I can't open the door. Is that it? Did I get everything? I think I might have. But there is a point where you can no longer, like, fight that boss. You can, you will miss it, but it takes a while to get to that point. So you can always come back and do this later. All right, all right. Oh my God, Moon! I'm dead. All right. You know, I was not bullshitting when I said like 
coming here is basically uh torture or hell like it is like this is this is that area in this game because there are areas like that in the other like dark souls games and stuff but this is like definitely in dark souls one it's the catacombs if you want to like be strong right away if you go down to the catacombs you can like you can really become strong it's ridiculous i made videos about that before and um but it's hell it is like a nightmare and you like if you're like new to the game you don't want to do it because you'll probably get destroyed but if you know what you're doing you can get away with it. Oh my god, it's Snatchers, bro. Chill, dogs. See, here's the problem. There are certain spots you want to go where there's actually good stuff. I don't remember the, where those are exactly. That's the problem. So I'm just kind of guessing. Okay, good spot. Got one of those. I know um, where the mace is, and that's that's what I... Oh my god. That's what I really want is the mace. Like, that's the main thing. Because I'm going to switch weapons here. And I'm going to use that thing for sure. Because I, I always liked the mace. But I really barely ever used it. I don't remember using it a whole bunch. But it is a very, very good weapon. Alright, there should be one of those. Oh my god, that thing will one-shot me. Yep. I wasted uh, blood vials healing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, those pigs are really, really overpowered. You can cheese them. Like, that's the thing. Like, with the pigs, if you have a fast weapon, you can actually just infinitely backstab them. And you can kill them here, even this early, just because it's so easy to actually cheese them. But, yeah. So, what I was trying to say, though, there should be, like, a little lizard guy over here. And, yeah, there is. But I'm getting chased. My God. Oh, is this going to kill me again? Please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh, I did! Okay. Okay, what am I gonna do about that now? Because if I'm getting chased by that stupid thing, God, those things run so fast, man. I've already died like five times in this area. It's crazy, right? Okay, it's that one right there. That's what killed me last time. I need to, like, juke it or kill it. Alright, it's coming, it's coming. Don't grab me whatever you do, you piece of shit. Motherfucker, alright. Let's go get this stupid thing. And I hope it respawned, right? It did, alright. Come here, little bitch. I should actually be using the transformed version. I mean, look how overpowered this thing is, man. Yeah. I'm not fighting that boss. I have actually, I think, killed that boss um, at this point of the game, basically, this early. And I remember it was not fun. I think I wanted to literally destroy everything, like controller, play. I, I just wanted to break everything just because I was so pissed. I hate that boss. And I think that's the reason why I hate that boss is because there was a time in one of the playthroughs I did for this game, our during a live stream I did, I don't know, where I fought that stupid boss, and I, ah, god, the only other thing that was worse than that, it, well, I, would say, I don't want to say it for sure, but one of, I, I do also remember, there's another really bad rage, like, I was so pissed, I, like, I was losing my mind, um, that was actually the final boss guy with the scythe, you know, that guy, that dude is so overpowered, and the truth is, like, on any playthrough, even other challenge runs, I've never really had all that much trouble with him, just because you could parry him and stuff, I don't know, like, I just, I just know that, I, you know, he's hard, I'm not gonna say he's easy, because he's not, but he's not, like, He's never been ridiculous to me. I've always thought, like, you know, he was a good final boss. But also, here's the, here's the ironic part about him, or the messed up part, is you could, you skip, you could skip him. You don't ever have to fight him. Like, if you don't want to fight him, you don't have to. And that's something that you normally should do. Like, if you're doing a speedrun in the game, you're not going to fight that guy. You're just going to say, you know, hey, hey, buddy, uh, murder me. Just, just kill me, or whatever. And game over, you know, that's your speedrun. But if you're doing, like, a challenge run... I mean, you should fight the guy, right? Because, uh, you bitch, if you don't, like... And that's what I did. And I did it at, like, the blood level 4, which is basically the soul level 1 of this game. And, yeah, I was losing my mind. 
like no matter what I did, he basically one shot at me. And so I had to have a perfect fight against him. I did beat him, but I almost I was losing my fucking mind attempting that. It was driving me up a wall insane. There was a point okay, you know. Six deaths, yay. Man, okay, I'm almost done here, though. I gotta be honest, that's kind of good, I guess. Like, all I have to do is just run down to that little spot down there and grab those items, and I think that's about everything I can grab here for now. And then I'll come back later, and I will fight that stupid werewolf boss. I don't, you know, really want to, but I will do it. Oh, God, the fucking pig's gonna get me, dude! Okay, I don't, am I alive? Am I dead? Like, where am I, bro? Okay, I'm so fucking dead. Okay, it's just freaking insight, bro. What is it? It's just insight. Ah, and there's still one more item. Well, I'm gonna have a really annoying time editing this episode. You know what's messed up too? Like when I used to do the playthroughs for this game, and I was playing this game a bunch, you know, at the time, and I was used to it. There was a lot of times I would come through here, get everything, and not die one time. I don't know how the fuck I ever did that, because this seems ridiculous. Okay, okay, leave me alone. Yeah, so let me finish what I was talking about with that guy before I was interrupted and murdered. Um, was it twice or three times? I don't remember anymore. But anyway, like, that guy, the final boss dude with the scythe, pissed me off so much... I know people are going to be, they always get mad at me because I don't ever say the people's name. And that's just because I don't remember what it is. And if I knew it, I probably would mess it up or mispronounce it and people would get mad at that as well. So I'd rather just not say nothing, bro. It's the dude with the scythe. You know who I'm talking about, right? Well, here's the point. I got so pissed when I was recording the video fighting him and dying like so many times. You know, a lot of those in the final video too, I didn't show because it's just like there were so many deaths. They weren't interesting. I only showed the interesting deaths. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like there was just so many deaths. I died so many times against that guy. And um, I literally at one point it started live streaming it just to complain like, I just, like, I turned my live stream on just to start complaining about how, like, I didn't think I could do it. Like, I was like, dude, this sucks. Like, why did I make this decision to fight this guy? I didn't have to. I could have just skipped him. He's optional. What am I doing? And I almost beat him on the live stream. I got so close. He got down to, like, one or two hits. He was so low. And then he freaking caught me and killed me. And I rage quit. But I did eventually beat him. You know, I, I didn't give up. And I did eventually beat him. But that was... That was the worst, like, challenge I've ever done for this game by far. Like, that, the soul level 4 one versus him was so, so hard, man. So hard. All right, so let me go back now. I got everything I need. I will upgrade uh, this mace, and we will run through Cathedral Wards. That should be a lot of fun. Yay. Alrighty, well, it's time to have some fun with my new toy. Yeah, this thing is awesome. One of the cool things about this weapon, well, it doesn't have a transform, like, different mode. Instead, it buffs the weapon. But I think that's awesome, you know? It's a free weapon buff. Oh, my God. You're making me look bad, bro. But it's fast. That's one of the big things about this weapon is that it's really fast. And... It also does a lot of DPS. Like, for this early in the game, this thing absolutely destroys. All right, I'm going to try to actually kill this thing now. I need to get the parry if possible. You know what? There is a cheese against these things is poison knives. Poison knives are, like, extremely good against these things. You can, like, throw, I think, one poison knife, and it will take it down to about 25% of health. Oh god, oh god, yeah, now it gets it goes into hyper mode. I forgot about that. Okay. Oh my god, can I can I please get you? Oh my god! I I always hate that! Oh god, I'm gonna die, bro. Alright, honestly, let me just stop and just melee, maybe. This probably is the way to do this better. Oh man. Those attacks, they have so much freaking range. Guys, I gotta delay that more. Come on. 
Ah! Oh my god, don't... Don't murder me! There we go, there we go. Come on, man, I can't get... I can't get this with the weapon buff on. But it's... Oh, oh god, what am I doing? I'm about to say, if I get killed now, I'm gonna be so mad. But hey, it's an easy way of getting some blood shards. Yeah, so I got the weapon to plus four, by the way. I can only get it to plus four. I will, you know, take it higher because this area, I think you can get some twin blood shards. So that's pretty cool, you know. And yeah, I two shot these guys with this. That's pretty awesome. Um, I still, I don't know about that alien, man. Like, I don't remember, like, what you have to do. I think, I, I think that might be the one where you have to have a certain amount of insight. Maybe, maybe it's only 10. I don't know. Is it 10? Is it, um... 20 but maybe something happens <sighs> honestly i got 10 now so wait 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 you know what why don't i just use the insight i have i have yeah okay oh god god i messed up all right use multiples that's what we want there we go boom now we got 20 so if this is gonna work it should work now but then again it might not all right see i'm trying to remember where is the spot it would be where that armor was. Should be like right here. All right, come on, bruh. Uh, where is he? Am I in the wrong spot? I think I'm in the wrong spot. Hold up. Let me double check this. I need to actually go back a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm definitely. I was definitely in the wrong spot. It's over here. This is the spot right here. All right, come on. Yeah, there it is. Grab me. Get me. Ah, pick me up, fool. By the way, uh, I did want to actually bring something up because it is actually uh, something just about me like that I've recently kind of done, and I'm actually pretty happy about it. Basically, if you guys remember, like, for years, you know, I, I, well, I smoked cigarettes, you know. I was a real fiend when it came to nicotine, and yeah, that didn't work. Nothing happened, so. Wasted blood vials, let's go. But I was a real nicotine fiend because I was like, if you watched me back in the day, you would have seen, like, especially when I was live streaming on camera, man, I smoke all the time. Like I was smoking like two packs of cigarettes a day, man. Like it was, it was bad. I was a real, real big smoker. And basically I actually was able to quit smoking cigarettes, but I moved, I transitioned from cigarettes to vape, vaping. And you know, I, I like vaping, but to me, I never got into it like a lot of people. You know, a lot of people get into it for like just, I don't know, like they like the technology. You know, they, they talk about the mods and they, um, like they were just really into, really into it, you know? Like, I was never into it like that. To me, like, once I was done with cigarettes, the vaping meant a way of getting nicotine. It was a lot less nicotine, don't get me wrong. I was definitely like getting a lot less nicotine doing the vaping than I was smoking. But I still was getting some nicotine. And recently, you know, I decided I want to quit nicotine altogether. So what I did was I slowly lowered my nicotine level with the vaping down to a point where it basically didn't even exist. Like it was, it really, I was barely getting anything. And recently I went to zero and even though, you know, I was barely getting any nicotine, right? I was getting like like nothing for the longest time. I still felt withdrawals, but they weren't, you know, they weren't that bad. You know, they weren't nearly as bad as they would have been if I would have went cold turkey off of cigarettes at one point. So I'm glad I did what I did because I think it actually is going to work. And uh, yeah, you know, it's been about almost two weeks now and now I'm really feeling completely fine and I'm feeling a lot better too. And I think I'm going to just completely stop the vaping. I'm still vaping a little bit, but it's kind of like, um, it's like mental masturbation. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of just a uh, placebo, you know, like I, I'm, I'm just doing it to pretend like, uh, yeah, you know, but it, yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with the vaping as well. So I'm actually pretty happy about that, that I'm, I'm past vaping. I'm past, um, smoking. Because it, like, smoking, man, it was, it was, it's awful. Don't ever get, don't ever try to get, like, addicted to nicotine. It's the worst shit. Like, you know, well, it's not as bad as, like, heroin, obviously. But it's still pretty bad, you know. It's a very poor, poor life decision is to start smoking. So don't do it. Um, 
and I completely regret like, you know, smoking because I smoked for about 10 years or maybe it was like 11. I don't even know. I didn't start smoking when I was like 15. You know, I, I started a little bit later. I started when I was like uh, 19 or 20. So that's the thing. Like, don't do it. It's just it's just stupid. All right. Now I'm past that. I just wanted to bring that up. Because that that is something that you know has been happening uh, to me. It's kind of it's you know more personal thing, but I'm uh, you know kind of proud. I'm proud of myself, and I feel like I'm going to, to completely you know be fine. Like I I I've never felt like uh, fine without nicotine. You know, because when you're addicted to nicotine, that's the thing. Like you you really you, like a day doesn't go by where you like it, it fucks with you. It just fucks with you like mentally so bad man like just just craving the shit so so bad so i'm really happy you know i i've quit it completely at this point and um and i'm i'm glad you know i'm done with vaping too i like i don't have anything against vaping but you know it's just like i said i never got into it like that i was just doing it for the nicotine and honestly it's kind of a waste of money anyway for me cuz like i don't i don't need it you know if i'm if i'm not getting the nicotine i don't need it it does nothing for me. All right. But I'm clearing out this little space here. I don't know if there's anything actually out here that I can grab besides what I just got, which was the insight. But I do know I have to find, like, a path. And there is the actual, like, next boss is up there in the church. I don't even remember. I, I think it's like a woman, right? It's like a, it's like a girl, and then she turns into a giant beast. I, that's what I remember, but I don't remember what, like, the boss itself, like, you know. Oh, God, man, I feel like my memory is just so messed up. Like, how can I not remember what that boss looked like? And I definitely don't remember the name of that boss. Huh. Well, anyway, let me grab this stuff. Oh, man. Okay, we're coming up on a pretty, uh, pretty epic little spot here. I actually had one of those, um, your never safe moments happen here for Bloodborne. Which I have a really, like, classic moment for Dark Souls 2. I think this guy... Can't this guy, like, go to the church? You know what? I think you actually have to beat the boss, maybe. Yeah, I think that's his requirement. You have to beat the boss before you can get him to go to the church. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, so I'll show you the spot here. The spot here is actually, like, right here by this door. But I went up to it, I knocked on it, and I was listening to the dialogue... And then an enemy, yeah, yeah, this fucking thing right here, like, came up behind me and started attacking me. And I think it killed me. But my classic Dark Souls 2 moment that, like, everybody loves, it's, it, it, is, it is a great moment. There's no doubt about it. And I, you know, I definitely would say it's one of my best moments I've had playing Dark Souls. Just really funny and just, like, it, it's the perfect Dark Souls moment as well. That's the thing. It really is. And what it was is I was just started playing dark souls 2 it just came out you know and it was like in the second video second episode of my let's play and i went to talk to pate and i got attacked by like all these enemies and they murdered me and my reaction was just priceless it was really funny like i just like <laughs> just had this epic like 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 what the fuck kind of moment and it was really crazy and i named the video like you're never safe in dark souls 2 because yeah man now, what actually happened, like, that was just a clip of it. What actually happened there in the longer version that you can see in the Let's Play is I actually, like, you know, ran from some enemies, okay, like, previously. But I didn't think they were going to chase me all the way over to where Pate was. So I went to go talk to Pate, and, you know, Pate's kind of an asshole anyway, and the way he's talking, you know, it's just like, ah, you're so annoying. And, like, I just got wrecked, snuck up on, and destroyed by these enemies. And that was kind of a, another funny thing that happened was... You know, I just got destroyed, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty mad about it. And then stupid ass Pate is sitting there just talking away, like you know, I'll, I'll Pate, you know, blah 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 blah. It's like, yeah, God, you're a fucking asshole. Shut the fuck up, bro. So it's a great moment, and basically, I actually submitted that for uh, Sunlight Blade's top ten uh, rage moments for Dark Souls two, and he put it at number three. Now, what's interesting about that is that. I was kind of disappointed. I thought it should have been number one personally. So I'm a little biased in this, obviously. But what is kind of fun is like going through the comments actually on that video. And every once in a while, I actually will go back 
and like you know just check it out and look at some of the comments and i i always see like a ton of comments of people like talking about number three like oh because i was number three they're like oh man number three man (laughs) haha like oh that that's the perfect dark souls moment you know number three you know there's so many comments like that of people like talking about number three is so great and uh and honestly like number one is like not even like a rage moment it's a guy who rage quit in pvp like he just he just he just quit you know like i i okay <laughs> like, I, don't, I, I didn't really quite understand that but i mean i guess it's it's kind of like this guy's role playing and he's killing him with fire bombs essentially is what he's doing and the guy gets so mad he rage quits because he, he's being killed by fire bombs which is kind of embarrassing obviously like so it, it is a good moment but when i think of dark souls rage i think of someone actually like getting upset at the game not not a rage quit from pvp so Anyway, the point is, is that a lot of people really like that clip in the top 10 list. And, you know, a lot of people also say, like, you know, they think that one should have been number one. So I don't know if you've never seen it before. It's, it's definitely something to check out. Either go and check out um, Sunlight Blade's uh, top 10 rage moments, Dark Souls 2, and I'm number three. Or you can just look up You're Never Safe in Dark Souls 2 and you see the clip if you've never seen it. It is, it is my... I bring it up a lot, so a lot of people watching this probably have seen it, but, um, you know, people, people know about it just because it's so classic, and I, like I said, I bring it up a lot. All right, if I remember right, this area is fucking scary, like this spot right here, because there's, like, multiple dudes, and there's the big guy, and, you know, I'm just remembering something. There is another spot I am not finding or exploring over here in the middle, it's somewhere around here. Let me find this real quick. Because there should be a spot where there's like a creepy ass alien. And also there is like something good over there. Where the hell is the spot, man? Oh, is that it? I think this is it over here. So I'm just I'm just fucking blind, dude. I don't know how I didn't stumble upon this. I seen it earlier actually too. I think. Yeah, yeah, I seen these crows earlier. Like, when I was down on the other spot, I seen the crows. All right, now these things, I think they suck your insight, right? But they're really easy to actually parry, so. Really not a threat too much, but there we go. We got that done. And, yeah, so what's over here is actually, let me grab it, some of those, which I think I can now upgrade my weapon to plus five because... I can only get it to plus four for now, but I was, like, barely missing, like, some. Okay, I remember this, too. So, over here, this is where that one guy is going to come eventually. The, um... Oh, that's good, too, actually. That, um... That gemstone's really good. But, yeah, eventually, like, I don't know, the Palatin guy. I, I, who is he? Like, it's it's the guy with the one covenant. I don't fucking know. So, anyway, let's come down here. And, uh, this is for later. Okay, Oh, oh God. I remember that. I, I did that area. That door leads to the forest, right? It's like, is it a forest? No, it's not the, it's not a forest. It's uh woods. I don't know. It's like a village in woods. I don't know. It leads there. And that's something later in the game. Who gives you the password though? Or how do you learn the password? I don't remember that part, but you actually do like, uh, go through there but you have to know the password which i guess you're told it later in the game i don't really remember that to be honest with you but you know what's what i do remember about that spot i think it took me a while to find that spot because i knew about it from earlier so like when you first run through this area if you are exploring you will find that door most of the time you know and i I am pretty sure i found that door you know on my very first playthrough of this game but then later on when i got the password either i forgot about it or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where are these guys coming from, dude? Like, what? How did I not kill these guys the first time? But, yeah, so, like, if I remember right, on my very first playthrough, what happened was I found the door, and the guy's like, you know, you got a password. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, this is this guy or whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, later, like, when you actually have to go there, I think I got lost. And it took me a minute to figure out, like, where to go. Oh, God. Scythe guy. That's not good. But here's the thing about that, okay, which is interesting. I'm pretty sure that that 
actually happened to a lot of people. Like, I think that was a very common thing that in this game, there's, you know, that's the spot where people get lost. Like, for the most part, you're not going to get lost in this game. Like, you know, it's pretty obvious where to go. Or, it, it, well, maybe it's not obvious where to go, but it, it is one of those things where you could kind of just figure out where to go fairly easily. Like, most Dark Souls games, like, what happens is most of the places you, have, you can go, you'll go, and you'll know that you can go there. And then there's always, like, a couple spots where you can get fucking really lost and you just don't know what to do anymore. Where you have explored, like, everywhere. You're like, dude, I've been everywhere and I can't figure out where I'm supposed to go, you know? And that was the spot in this game. And I don't like, like, looking up on the internet, where the fuck do I go now, you know? Like, I just beat this boss, and what do I do next? Like, I don't like doing that. I like to try to figure it out in my very first playthrough. So I was, like, legitly, like, lost. And I think I was lost for, like, maybe an hour or, like, two hours or something like that. But I, I've had that actually happen in, I think, every Dark Souls game besides maybe Dark Souls 3. I don't remember if it happened in Dark Souls 3. I don't think it did. All right, so this is a shortcut, by the way. So we got this open now. Huh, I got to think about that real hard. Like, did that ever happen? Did I ever get lost in Dark Souls 3? I don't think I did. Like, let me know. You guys tell me. Like, did you ever get lost in Dark Souls 3? Is there a moment where a lot of people get lost in Dark Souls 3? Because one thing I can tell you for sure, I got lost in Dark Souls 1 and 2. Like, and it was the same type of deal where I was lost for like an hour or two hours. I'm running around like, looking everywhere, like, where the fuck do I go? Because, and in my opinion, I do like this about Dark Souls and FromSoft. I love the fact they don't hold your fucking hand, dude. I love that. I love the fact that there's not an objective marker on your fucking screen to tell you where to go. I love the fact that you can't just, like, talk to some dude and he's like, okay, now you gotta go here, you know, like, I, li I like that. They can get, you know, they give you hints, like, they will give you some hints and stuff, but... They don't just hold your hand, man. They don't say, like, okay, this is where you got to go now. I love that, man. I like exploring. I like getting lost in my first playthrough. Oh, my God. I got shit coming up behind me, bro. Jesus. All right. Oh, God. Leave me alone, man. Dude, this sucks. I'm going to spend some... You know what? I'm going to spend some of my echoes on blood vials, dude. I'm running a fucking real low. This is an old hunter over here. All right. And there was an item over there as well. Yeah, so uh, uh, let me talk about that real quick, I guess. I don't remember in Dark Souls 3, and I just told you about this, the moment in this game. But in Dark Souls 1, the spot that I got lost, and you tell me, like, you know, if you got lost in Dark Souls 1, but the spot that I got lost was I got lost trying to go to the depths, okay? Like, I had no fucking clue where to go after the gargoyles. Because you can't take the shortcut to Quaylag. But if you don't know about that, and if you're not using a guide where it might tell you you can do that, you're probably not going to do that. So instead, you're going to go to the depths. Like, that's where you're supposed to go. And I got the key to the depths, and even my friend, like, was like, we were talking to each other. Like, we were, like, playing. We weren't playing co-op, but we were trying to figure out, like, where, where the fuck do we go now, you know? And he couldn't figure it out either. And eventually, I think he found the door. Like, he found, like the door that we were supposed to go because it's on the bridge where the like dragon is and i just i just didn't think about that you know that's another th cool thing about dark souls when you find like a locked door it normally will say like the you know locked it doesn't say locked with a symbol that looks like you know i don't know like it doesn't like give you hints on what you need to fucking do okay i gotta be careful this is frenzy so i like that too you know but anyway so my point is that was the spot man and for that game me and my buddy I think we might have been lost for at least two hours. Like, maybe it was even longer. I don't even fucking know. We were running around looking everywhere for that. And then in Dark Souls 2, the spot that I got lost, because I was recording, because Dark Souls 1, I wasn't recording my first playthrough. I, I did. But in Dark Souls 2, like, um, I was. And, like, I got legitly lost at one point because I couldn't figure out, like, basically, I needed the girl to, like, change the to spin the room um i don't know her name but it's 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 in majula like you have to go towards hyde's tower and then talk to the girl there to have her like you know spin that room and that's the thing i, I didn't I, I just never went back that way i didn't think to go back 
towards Hyatt's tower and then stumble upon that girl again and then have her spin that room so I can go that one particular way. So yeah, you know, I was lost there and that took me a while to figure that out. I think that one wasn't as bad though. Maybe it was like an hour or something like that. Uh, but yeah, so those were my moments that I got lost. I don't, I can't think of any in Dark Souls 3. And I don't know, I don't think I had a moment in Sekiro either, but I am interested. You tell me, like, were there, like, certain, like, spots where you just got completely lost in any of the Soulsborne games? And, like, what is your opinion? Do you think, like, there are some spots that are probably more notorious? Like, maybe, like, in this game, I'm pretty sure, like, that password door was actually, like, a thing where a lot of people were like, I don't know where to go now. Like, I'm, I'm lost. Like, I don't know where to go. And then people would have to say, oh, it's the password door is where you have to go. I don't know. I, I kind of remember that. I, I remember people talking about that. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos and click the bell. It definitely helps me out. And also, it will keep you notified. Thank you so much for watching. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace out.